Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're back on the trail, uh, polk sleds in tow, and uh, we're just making our way through this burned out snowy forest. You see it out through here. Pretty big fire went through a couple years ago, and uh, yeah, they're still thinning it out, still trying to do their prescribed burn, <clears throat> but it makes for the perfect place for a uh, snowshoeing trip, even though it's so cold right now that the snow is rock hard. So no snowshoes needed. So stick around, we're gonna go up, we're gonna make camp and uh, who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, we made it to our spot. Here we are, you can see where we're at. Uh, gonna set up, trying to avoid some of these dead trees. And then uh, we're gonna try to rig up a tarp into the snow, maybe kind of a tunnel. Trench? Trench. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then we also brought our tent, so we're gonna dig that out. We gotta dig out a nice little place for a fire and um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started. Well, we made it all the way up here, got all set up, and I realized that my sleeping bag is not in my pack. Total rookie move. I was just telling Corey, we've been doing this for 17 years, and uh, we've never done anything like this. Um, yeah, I just gotta make the best of it, right? So luckily we brought our extra tent. We were gonna set up our tent and this little emergency shelter, emergency, sh that's hard to say, emergency shelter and um so we got that built and uh, i'm gonna be using the tent to uh, wrap myself in so luckily i've got my heated jacket that's hopefully gonna come in clutch i did bring in my um jackery battery pack with me so i'm gonna try to run that heated jacket all night uh probably on my feet we're gonna try to run a fire down in here with us and uh just kind of make the best of it if it's unbearable then we just sit up all night next to the fire and we hike out in the morning um if we hike out now and try to get back up in here it would be dark uh, but we can always hike out in the morning if necessary run down buy a sleeping bag and come back up here right we're not canceling the trip so uh anyway we're all set up let's go uh let's go have some fun in the snow
think we're gonna make it through the night. So it's time to build a fire. We're gonna get this one going. Um, right, remember when you're building a fire on snow, try to find some bark or something that you can do it on. And then these little tumbleweeds work excellent. And once we get the little tumbleweeds burning, uh, just small sticks, pine needles, and uh, you know, there's gonna be a lot of moisture coming out of the ground that's gonna try to kill this fire. So you wanna get it going, you wanna get it hot to dry everything out. And I don't know if you were looking for how to build a fire in the snow advice from somebody that can't even remember to bring their sleeping bag, but there it is. Just gonna grab some more of these small branches. I contributed. Just building some shelves. Finally got cold enough that the clothes not mush. Got some structure to it. Custom countertop. <laughs> You're going to business. There we go. Tonight we're firing up the grill. We're gonna be making some carne asada tacos. My cup doesn't run away with the spoon. Oh, that was a dish, huh? All right, so everything's all seasoned, so don't go saying I didn't season it. It's got plenty of seasoning. And then it's gonna have some smoky flavor. A little bit of oil. All right, we're just gonna fire this guy up. Man, it's like this thing is all sponsored by Jetboil, huh? We got Jetboil everything over here. Uh, let's do the purple, don't you think? Or no? What do you, which one do you want? Yeah. You can do white. All right, let's do white. All right, we got a white onion coming into the picture. See, I like to crowd this skillet just because this is as big as my skillet gets, and I can't go grab a big one. <clears throat> Wanna try some grilled onions in here too? Yeah. Why not, huh? Okay. All right, onions and cilantro, ready. All right, just slicing up some limes here. Working on some margaritas. I gotta stir this. Stop and stop making noise. The skillet's really nice. It like um it uh distributes the heat really well. Yeah. Alright, cheers. Mm. Ooh. It's pretty good. I'm not joking. Yep, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> you can tell this guy's never been a bartender. <laughs> yeah, right. Should have had you make the drinks. There we go. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need mean, salt. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. So salty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. So, just a few updates on our adventures. We've got our fire going. We had to cut in a chimney because it was smoking us out in here. So, we've got the chimney going in. We built the wall up to where now it is a little bit higher than what the entrance is to our shelter, whatever you want to call this thing. And now the smoke, when the smoke does change, it doesn't blow back up in there. So uh, we did open up the vent in case that does happen. Um, yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty good. Why aren't any of my lighters working? <laughs> For my next trick, bust out this little Japanese roaster. 
Been wanting to do this ever since I bought it. Ha oh. ha. Oh, switched out the fuel. Now listen to that popping. Oh, a little bit of blistering. Okay, it's gonna be delicious. You too can be the owner of this fine set of cookware in the middle of this snow trip. All the links are in the description below. Always wanted to use this thing to do just this. Eat up our tortillas. Now I'm roasting these tortillas. We're getting ready to uh, start eating, but there's a beautiful sunset happening right over there. And I want to catch it, capture that on a live stream. So if you want to see what that was like and see how these tacos turn out, uh, there is a live stream. I'll try to throw the link up here when this video comes out. So uh, make sure you check that out, but I'll be back with you after dinner. All right, we just had a successful YouTube live stream. Cannot see the meat that I'm grabbing. Oh, lost some of the last two tacos. The thing got cold. My thermometer says that it's 23 degrees right now. So, uh, this is Valentina. We accidentally broke the top off the bottle. Trying to get it open. I just lift my finger. I will not use that to get the cheese out. Ooh, last of the onions and stuff. I guess we'll just call that good. All right, you probably can't see me because GoPros are not good at night, but. If you want to really see what I look like eating a taco, go watch the live stream. This is good. I'm going to finish this up. We got to build this fire up and then uh, probably about time for bed. Sun's going down. Not much to do but just lay there and freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I so, think I'll be all right. Yeah, he's got to sing that. <laughs> See if I can get some light going. We've got the fire. Right, everything's all built up. So we're going to ride this thing until it dies and then uh, bundle up. And I will see you all in the morning. Or actually, you will see me. Well, good morning. Got a beautiful sunrise happening behind me. Survived the night. Um, I was lucky. The coldest that it got was 21 on my thermometer. So could have been a lot colder. But uh, our boots are frozen this morning. So... I feel like that story of Cinderella with the sisters that needed to chop their toes off to fit into the glass slipper. So we're trying to thaw our stuff out and get our boots on. Well, our shoes are defrosted, built us a little fire, got that going. Now we got the coffee and everything going. See, here we got our grounds, had to boil some water that turned to ice, and uh, we've got some bacon and pancake mix. We got some eggs that we added right into the bottle at home, and then uh, we got some little frozen peppers gonna go in the eggs maybe a little bit of uh, shredded cheese we're gonna have ourselves a nice little breakfast mm. delicious <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting here eating our eggs drinking our coffee we've already had the discussion about whether or not I want to sleep without a sleeping bag again. And I don't think that was much of a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I told Corey, you know, there's it's always been something I've wanted to do is just come out and sleep without a sleeping bag. But there's also some things that I never want to do again. And sometimes those two things coincide, right? They go right, right along together. So I'm glad that I did it. I don't think I ever want to do it again. It was cold. Um, my water and my hydro flask froze. My hydro flask is insulated, right? So I don't know. I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the day, we're gonna climb the mountain, go up there, see the sights, and then uh, instead of going down, buying a sleeping bag, you know, coming back up and just staying the night for the sake of staying the night and uh, waking up early in the morning and going home. Anyway, we'll just, get all of our hikes and everything in and then you know just head down the mountain and uh, call it a successful trip 
Good food, good friends. Can't really complain, right? It's a good trip. Yeah. We built a fire doom hole that is probably going to take us an hour to fill back in. <laughs> like a booby trap. So breakfast today is kind of a uh, multi-course meal because we only have the one skillet. Right, we just ate our eggs. We drink some coffee, let that start to digest. Then we've got some bacon and pancakes that we're going to throw on. And for the uh, for the pancakes, we've got this uh, maple syrup that was uh, aged in bourbon barrels. So, yeah, it's really delicious. Don't you love my little fancy containers for carrying all this stuff, right? Little 12-ounce Aquafina bottles. They're perfect. They're lightweight. Cheap. You can find them anywhere. So, fun fact. The first time Corey and I ever went backpacking together, we had some bacon. And uh, I was cutting through it, much like I just did right now, and cut all the way through the package and into my finger. <laughs> so we got to try out our new, our new uh, first aid kit. So that was fun. Smells delicious. You see, we got our bacon here. I'm loving this pan. Gives me a lot of hope because the next thing that we're going to be doing is cooking pancakes. And that is something that we have never successfully accomplished. We have cooked plenty of pancakes while backpacking, but they were never quite pancakes. I think one time we just gave up and we just ate like raw pancake dough. It was like which, dough. Yeah, I know that's <laughs> probably frowned upon, but... Needed the calories. Actually, yeah, we stuck it in like the lumen form. It was yeah, bad. It was good. It was, yeah, not good. Alright, these pancakes are going right back into the bacon grease because why not? It's good. I have to maintain my boyish figure. Big silver dollar. <laughs> <laughs> with chopsticks. <laughs> Never seen somebody eat, a, eat pancakes with chopsticks. Pay attention. That's how it's done. Oh, it's delicious. Pancakes for a backpack. We tried for so long. It always came down to the pan. We were never willing to buy one. We always tried to compromise. Bacon in there. A little drizzle, drizzle. I'm gonna fold this one up. Eat it like a sandwich. Look at there. Ooh, that bacon's cold. <laughs> <laughs> we let that one go. <laughs> what happened there? It's like pancake sushi. I'm sure, that's a thing. Should Could be. be. Yeah. Oh, breakfast sushi place. Yeah. That could be good. You do like a like a chicken tempura. That'd probably be good. You couldn't wrap it in rice though. Yeah. Mm, Mondo something here. You could wrap it in egg. Okay. Yep. Like a but that'd be pretty good. Like, yeah. like like an omelet. Mm-hmm. You you can cause you, you know you can roll those. And then you cut it. Yeah. Egg rolls. Egg rolls. Yeah, but, egg, but there's already something called an egg roll. So yeah, we, we'd we can't, have to change we, it. Yeah, we can't call it that. That's where great ideas come from. When you're up here and you don't have any of that TV or YouTube clogging your brain. <laughs> now that breakfast is out of the way and uh, dishes are washed, it's on to the long process of making water. So, yeah, I'm not going to bore you with all the details of this one, so see you on the trail. Here we are on the trail, heading up to the mountain. Kind of cross country, go up all this stuff here. These dead burned trees, burned dead trees. This thing's just right up here. 
maybe one false summit. If you want to call it a summit, it's just a round top. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are to the top. <sighs> Nothing to do now but turn around and go back. The joys of climbing a mountain. Conquistadors of the useless. <sighs> and just like that, it's time to head back down. We enjoyed the views, took some pictures. Now it's about time to go clean up camp. Maybe whip up a quick, quick lunch and head down the mountain. Now all there is to do is uh, break all this stuff down, cover in the hole, and get back to the truck. So I don't know if this video is what you were looking for, but if you stuck around for the whole time, I appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. All right, everyone. I will catch you on the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.